Hello, Benchwire Gang, and welcome back to not a regular season prediction. What? Not a wild card prediction. What? Not a divisional round prediction. What? Not even a conference championship prediction. What? It's the Super Bowl prediction. We finally made it. This is the last NFL game of the season until the new season rolls around in September. And we got a good one. It should be an interesting football game. Me and my good friend, me, Paisano, Stephen Amp Blow, are going to be breaking this down for you. And, yeah, we're, we're going to get right into it. Steve, first off, how are you feeling? Are you looking forward to this Super Bowl matchup? And, yeah, are, do you, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts? Is Taylor Swift going to be there? Or maybe that's your favorite part. I would hope so. I would hope she would be there supporting her boyfriend, but who knows? Maybe she won't be because Travis didn't support her at the Grammys. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Scumbag. What a scumbag. What a scumbag getting ready for this game and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about this the Super Bowl matchup. Super Bowl 58, Sunday. Let's do it. Should be a good little matchup. 6 30, baby. Um, but yeah. Uh, just saying, the Niners and Chiefs, like they were the two top like teams in their conference going into the season, I would say, as the contenders to make it to the Super Bowl. And both these teams got there. They're both well constructed. They're both led by great men. You know, you got Andy Reid on the Kansas City side, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. You got those stars over there. And then Niners as well. You got CMC, Kittle, Brock Purdy. Yeah, I'm calling him a star. I'm calling him a star. Um, but, yeah, they were the top two teams, you know, supposed to go to Super Bowl. Niners were like – it was like them and the Cowboys and the Eagles, right? Those were supposed to be the three teams, and it was like the Chiefs, the Bills, and the Bengals and the Ravens, right? They were supposed to be in the Super Bowl. So these two teams were supposed to be there. They're meant to be here. So you got to give them, you know, a pat on the back for getting all this way after a tough season, going through injuries and all that. They survived, and now they're going to play for the Vince Lombardi Trophy on Sunday. Now, who's going to win this game? It, you know, I, I I had a hard time picking who was going to win this game. I really did because I think both these teams could win this game. Easily both these teams could win this game. They're both well-constructed. they both got great players on both sides of the ball. But it's going to come down to who starts out hot, who starts out fast, and who doesn't make mistakes, right? That's every football game. In general, right? You can't make mistakes, and you have to have your foot on the gas pedal. Who's going to win this game? Do you, do you know who I think is going to win this game? Do you know? If you had to guess. Mm -hmm. I want I want you to guess who I think winning this game. I'll tell you who I have. I want mm -hmm. you to guess. You're going to pick the Niners. You are correct. I am picking the 49ers. Yes, I'm picking the San Francisco 49ers. I think they're going to win this game. I really do. They've been trying to fight for this Lombardi Trophy for all these years now, these past five years, I would say. They have had this Super Bowl roster constructed for all these years. They just haven't been able to get the job done. I think this is the year. They've found ways. They've come back from you know being down a lot, especially in these playoff games. They started out slow. They were starting out slow to the Packers, but they found a way to come back and win that game. The Lions game, they were down, I think, 24-7 to in NFC Championship game. They found a way to come back. It's all about coaching. It's all about the players. I think they have it all. I really respect Kyle Shanahan and company. You know, John Lynch, great GM. Like, finding ways to get your team better each and every year. That's what the Niners do. They got Chase Young at the trade deadline. They got Javon Hargrave to, you know, you know, bolster up that defensive line and all that. Brock Purdy, you got him some offensive line. You got him John Feliciano, put, put him in there at the center spot. He's been really good for them this year. You know, you got everyone healthy going into this game. Everyone is healthy. I think the Niners are going to win this game. I think it's going to be close. I don't think it's going to be a game that is going to be a blowout, but I think 
right now the Niners have the better players and they are more constructed to beat this Chiefs team. We've seen this Chiefs team lose to teams like the Raiders this year. We've seen them lose to a lot of teams this year. They lost to the Bills in the regular season. You no, know, it's regular season. It doesn't matter. But we've seen them lose before. Yes, they, they beat the Bills. They had, they had a great, I guess, road to the Super Bowl. They beat the Bills, right, on the road. They beat the Ravens on the road. Now, this is a neutral site game. They're playing in Vegas, right? I, I respect Patrick Mahomes. I think he's one of the best quarterbacks in this league, and it will be one of the best for sure at the end of the day. But I just feel like offensively, the Chiefs, right, they're, they're kind of banged up the offensive line. Joe Tooney's probably not going to be playing in this game, right? But Patrick Mahomes, I think he's going to keep it close. It's not going to be a blowout. I think the Niners, they're either going to win by, you know, four or three points. It's going to be within that range. It's not going to be by a touchdown, right? Uh, but Andy Reid and company, they're going to keep this game close. Spags, he's done a hell of a job this year. I think he's one of the best defensive coordinators in the league for sure by far. But Steve Wilkes, he's been good too. He's been – he got this team to – the first seed in the NFC for a reason. I love Brock Purdy. What he's been able to do in his first two years, Mr. Earl Relevant, he's been balling out, finding ways to come back this season. Like the Niners, I think, are the team that's going to hoist up the Lombardi Trophy this year. It's going to be a close game, but if I had to pick a team to win it all, give me the San Francisco 49ers. They're going to be Super Bowl champions. On Interesting, you know, I was really flipping back and forth with all this stuff. And there's just one thing I kept coming back to and coming back to and coming back to. And that's the fact that the Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes. And that's who I'm picking. I'm picking the Kansas City Chiefs for a lot of reasons. Just starting with the Kansas City Chiefs, right? You even mentioned it, too. And I can't believe... After you said the Chiefs rode to the playoffs, that oh they never been on road, they never they can't win outside of Arrowhead. Patrick Mahomes did that, and who did they beat again? I heard you. I thought I heard you. the Bills. Who and wait, did you pick the Bills to win that game? I think you did pick the Bills to win that game. And didn't we both pick the Ravens to beat the Chiefs? Yeah, I got fooled twice by this team. I'm not getting fooled the third time by this team. And why am I picking them? Well. If you look back at the last 49ers two games, right, they played who? The Packers and the Lions. Two not notoriously great defenses, right? And what did the offense do? They got out to slow starts. The first half, non-existent. And they have playmakers everywhere. Kyle Shanahan wasn't getting any blame for that because they found a way to win. But I'll tell you this. If you come out slow against that defense and that quarterback, you're losing this game. You're losing 100%. You're losing this game by one shot. Um, I think you can't bet against Mahomes, man. He, he's been in there. He's played the Niners before in this game, and they won that game too. It, that was another close game. I get that. But Kyle Shanahan in these Super Bowl moments, these big moments, does something a little – that gets you scratching the whole top of the noggin. You're like, what is he doing? What's he calling? And I never seen Brock Purdy in this situation before, right? Yeah, I get it. He He's played in the playoffs, right? But – when he played a comp in defense, Philly last year, he gets taken out in the first quarter, out of the game. Niners have no answer after that. The, this Chiefs defense, it's different. The Spags defense is really, really, really different. They're going to get after Purdy. They're going to make him move outside the pocket. They're going to send blitz packages. They're going to mix it up on him. And he's going to install a great game plan. He's, they neutralized Lamar Jackson, who is a far better talent, not taking any away from Brock Purdy, but a far better talent from the quarterback position. And why couldn't they not do that to a Brock Purdy, right? So, yeah, it, it, it's going to start. The guy, they got to take McCaffrey out of it, right? That's going to be priority number one. They're going to have to send blitz packages to take him out. So, and, yeah, they got to get – and I believe in Andy Reid's play calling too. Kelsey has been a revelation this playoffs. He's been balling for sure. I, I really think – he's going to step up and ball here as well and machine rice has been playing well mvs is making some strides so i think they're clicking at the right time it's been the best time to click and i think they're going to ride this wave in whereas the niners so start so start and and just thinking about it last year 
Um, the two teams that made it last year, they were just consistently good the whole time. Like the Chiefs and the Eagles last year, they were just taking care of business up until this point. And the Niners, they just they they took care of the teams because of lack of experience from from the team, right? They faced the youngest team, the Packers. The combined age are 25 years old, young, inexperienced. They lost the game from missed field goals and a bad Jordan Love pick at the end of the game. That's what lost in that game. And the the Lions game, Dan Campbell being too aggressive, lost in that game. They should have kicked more field goals. But I digress, hell of a season from them. Niners did their job, they came back. So I, what I've seen from the Niners the last two games, despite being at home, they almost got beat, right? Now, like you said, neutral site game. Kansas City, who came on the road, right? You should know this as a Giants fan. They came on the road, and then when they come into the neutral site game, they're going to have a mixed crowd. They're going to have some Chiefs fans. They're going to have some Niners fans, right? So, and the Chiefs are embracing this fill-in role perfectly, too. No one wants to see them win. They don't care. They're blocking out the outside noise, and they're going to go in this game, and they're going to win. No doubt. No question about it in my mind. So, I'm picking the Chiefs. I believe in Andy Reid. I believe in Spags. I believe in the whole entire whole entire team and Mahomes, I can't bet against them. He made me a fool last time again when I picked the Ravens over them. So I'm picking the Chiefs. I'm picking I picking Mahomes and he'll win his he'll win his uh MVP again. He'll win Super Bowl MVP. All good and points. he'll solidify him as a top three quarterback all time. Him it'll be him, Montana and Brady after this game Sunday. My MVP is gonna be Brock Purdy when, when it's all nope. said and done. No, nope. all said and done is gonna be Brock nope. Purdy. No, nope. yep, nope. You'll see. No, nope. they're not winning this game. We will find out. Nope. Um, any, anything else winning. we have to say? Anything else we have to say? Um, uh, hmm. Anything else? Uh, well, the Chiefs will win this game. Other than that, when the Niners win this game, you were wrong. No. Okay. No, man. No, man. You were talking about the Chiefs' path, and then you neglected the Niners' path. But I had to the Niners' you. path, hey, they played the Lions. The Lions were good. They should have won that game, but they can't. They're not, they're not as good as the Bills and the, and the uh, Ravens, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, the Chiefs' maybe. road was much, much tougher, and they played – and they played the Dolphins too and shut them out with that potent offense. So uh, everything's everything's pointing to the Chiefs for me, man. The defense has been the best uh, they had, and they still got Patrick Mahomes, and he gives you a chance in any game. Like I said, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I don't think the Chiefs are going to blow them out either. But if I had to put a guess, I'm thinking like I'm thinking like 34-24, something around those lines, right? And another thing, just a little fun thing. I'm not saying this is why I picked them, but if you remember back on Hard Knock, Steve, right? Okay. Me called me called Harmon. Awesome. Um, I stole that. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said he said, We're gonna play the Niners in the Super Bowl, and then it was 31 21. So it so wasn't the Jets. The He's not on the Chiefs. I'm thinking I'm not th- I'm not gonna predict that, but if it's 31 21, I had to put it out there. It'll be fun. But I'm thinking more it's going to be like 28, 24, 34, 24, 27, somewhere around those lines. And I think the line was only like one. So Vegas is really, really split. I think the betters are really, really split too because, like you said, Niners are loaded in talent for sure. And the Chiefs, they have the best quarterback in the league, bar none. He's on a tier of his own. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really, really, really interesting. But – we're split, and yeah, I think the fam, the Benchwire fam, in the comments should comment score prediction and who they think is going to win in the comment section. They should comment down below know. who you think is going to win this game. This is how I think the game's going to end, though. I think Traverius Ward's going to get a pick. The the Chiefs are going to be going on a drive to win the game, and they have to score a touchdown. And Traverius mm-hmm. Ward's going to get a pick against his former team and nope. seal. That's what's going to nope. happen. That's a shit take if I ever seen one. Okay. We we seen Mahomes crumble in the Super Bowl before. It's not like he's never lost. No, him. that's because he had no tackles. Well, he doesn't have his guard now. Don't matter. They played without him. He doesn't have his all pro guard, Joe Tooney. That's not confirmed yet. 
It's not confirmed. It's, it's confirmed. Do you it's listen unlikely. to Andy Reid? Andy Reid pretty much. No, has. I don't need to listen to Andy Reid. It's unlikely. It's a smoke screen. They're going to say they're going to prepare for without Joe Tooney, and he's going to come in. They're going to be like, oh, no, Joe Tooney's playing. Uh, it doesn't they're matter. Not, they got hard grades in them, boys. Oh, and, it's... and we're just waiting for classic Kyle Shanahan choke job in the playoffs. No, no, no. He just doesn't have Matt Ryan. He has Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy's already on pace. Of yeah, and he, and he messed up Brock Purdy by blocking a tight end on Hassan Reddick last year. That it's was last moment. year. It's a new year. New it's a, it's a, it's a, it's Groundhog's Day. It's the same the same ish. No, they beat the Eagles again. this year. No, they beat them in the regular season. They didn't beat them in the playoff. Well, the Eagles should have advanced further. Hmm? It's a new okay. Year. Kyle Shanahan's elite in the regular season. That's great. There's no there's no trophy for regular season. That's phenomenal. He he's good at getting the team to the NFC Championship game, the Super Bowl. What more could you want? He's a good coach. He gets you, you there, but you can't, he gets you there, but he can't get it done for you. He's only had one opportunity as a head coach. No, you know he, has multiple hard is Super Bowl? he has multiple opportunities. He, he either crumbled in the Super Bowl once as the coach, or or he came up short in the playoff. He almost came up short twice this time around, but luckily, but his, luckily his team is so coach. stacked that they actually came back. His, yeah, exactly. His team is so stacked that they came back. Against the Lions and the Packers. Think they're going to do it against his Chiefs. Think team. about it. No, they're not. Yes, they will. No, they're not. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't company like could beat they're this playing, team. They're playing some of their worst football, this, except for that three-game skid they had in the m- middle of the season. They're playing some of their worst football right now. I think teams have figured. I think they're going. the Chiefs are going to watch the tape. They're going to see – uh, what the teams did to start the game, and they're gonna they're gonna neutralize it. And I fact I think the fact that they don't have D'Amico Ryan's anymore, that was more creative, and innovative than Steve Wilkes, is gonna play a part in that because Steve Wilkes doesn't really make a whole bunch of adjustments. He adjusted a little bit in the half that got him to play better, but yeah, you're you're not gonna out adjust Andy Reid. Steve Wilkes is not gonna stop Mahomes and Andy Reid. No way. I don't see that happening. In my opinion. It's going to be the Chiefs. Chiefs. It's going to be the Niners. Chiefs. How about those Niners? Chiefs. 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 Remember you picked the Chiefs last year in the Super Bowl, man. They didn't let you down. I didn't pick them last year. I I didn't. I was testing your memory. I didn't. I wish I did. I I, I wanted them to win. I said that loud and clear. I thought the Eagles were going to win. But I'll never do that again because Nick Sirianni – it's not a good coach. Oh, but you are doing it again. You're picking against Kyle Shanahan. Well, Kyle made... Shanahan's a good coach. That's the difference. Mm. Is he, or is he a product of his great players? No, he's a product of his father. Come on now. Product of well, literally he is. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Hey, he got the was... him and him and Lynch, man. Right, he wanted we'll Brock see. Purdy. He said he said last year in the beginning of the year. To the owner Jed York, that Brock Purdy was the best quarterback. Mm-hmm. No, Tom, he said Tom Brady was, and he told Brock Purdy. That. <laughs> no, yes, no, I'm that's saying, true. no, 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 I'm he didn't. No, 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 last year, no, I, no, the beginning no, no. of this year, he said, beginning of last year, they started Trey Lance, and then they moved to Brock Purdy because Jimmy Garoppolo got her, her dad no choice, and he actually played pretty well. And I'm like, okay, Brock Purdy's gonna be the guy going forward, and they did pretty well. Until the NFC Championship, until they got steamrolled by the Eagles. And in this year, offseason, they told Brock Brady, look, if we get Brady, you're going to sit the bench again. You're going to learn behind him. That didn't happen, so they inserted him back in. They have a good regular season. They they survived in the playoffs, I'd say, to put it survived. bluntly. They survived they in the it. playoffs. They earned it, but they survived. They had to they claw did. back. They, they earned it, but they survived. Um, and now they have to go against uh, the best quarterback in the league uh, and a uh, really good defense. I don't see it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I see don't it. See the Chiefs winning. I don't see it. They only scored right, seven man. points in the second half against the Ravens. Second half. That's it. Seven points. Okay, that's fine. The Ra- we called the Ravens defense the best defense in the NFL. 
That's fine. Yeah, but the Niners don't have any. Nine Niners don't have that defense. Seven points, and that's the same Ravens team games. that. That's the same Ravens team that beat the crap out of the Niners too. So I don't want to. That hear was it. regular season. Regular season doesn't matter. That's what you said. Regular. I said good regular season, right? <laughs> they had a good regular season. I'm just saying. I'm comparing the team to. I'm comparing the situation. The Niners got steamrolled in that game. And so yeah, and the Chiefs got was, steamrolled by the Raiders in the regular season. That's a divisional game, though. That happens. Okay. That happens. It happens. Right, you, well, like, it happens right, the, you're a giant steamrolled the Eagles in the last game, but that doesn't mean that they're a better team. They were in that game. If you play a special seven series like the NBA, the, the Chiefs will win four out of one every time. So I don't – I don't want to hear that. Come on, man. I don't want to hear that. They're, they caught them on an off day when they were figuring things out. And look at where they're at now. They're on a streak of success and prosperity. They did it on the road. They're going to win again. They're going to win for Clark Hunt's mother. It's going to be incredible. And my good friend, our, our good friend James Dross, will be happy. They're going to win another Super Bowl. Oh. Taylor Swift's going to be happy. Travis no. Kelsey's going to bring some Kittle. hardware back. Kittle's bringing and then we're going to be saying, you got to fight for your right <laughs> to party, baby. Let's but Bang Bang go. Niner Gang's going to stop that. I love bang George bang. Kittle, man, but there's no way. CMC? No way. They're not going to stop CMC, man. They're not they're going to mitigate him. his damage. They're going to lessen He's going to be very productive and... He's going to be one of the reasons why they win. But Brock Purdy, he's going to show you why he's good, too. He's going to throw the ball deep. He's going to find uh, out. You, no, he's he's going to find Debo. He never threw the Debo. ball over 50 yards this whole season in the air. It's been dink and matter. intermediate. What about what about Patrick Mahomes? He hasn't done any of that either. It's been well, no, we shit. can throw deep. We've seen it before. We've seen it before, but not this year. He doesn't it's been have more of a the check like, offense this year. He, okay, the one bomb he had to MVS was dropped in the Eagles game. He should have caught exactly. that. That was a bomb. You know who's you know who's probably going to be healthy for this game? Kadarius Toney, man. That's when great. When was the last time we saw something good for him? That was a, yeah, a year ago. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah that was He's a year do it ago. again against your Niners still. And you're still, picking, and you're still picking. These are yeah. my Niners. I'm, I'm not That's claiming them for mine. I'm not claiming them as You're money. claiming them for this game, though. For this game, sure. For this yeah, game. Yeah, same with me. I'm claiming the Chiefs for this game. Okay. We will see. We're, we're random I, here, but I always side on this. I always side with greatness, man. I gotta side with greatness. Yeah, Brock. I gotta Purdy. side with Mahomes. Greatness. Side of greatness, right here. Brock Purdy is gonna get the job, though. Believe it. No, he's not. Believe I'm it. Sorry. No, he's not. And we'll see. we'll have a we'll have a conversation next week. We'll see. I, we I like see. the kid. I like Brock Purdy, but I don't. I don't see. I don't really see it now that I thought about it. I was. I was back and forth just because of the personnel that the Niners have. But I keep going back there. Andy Reid and and then Patrick the linebackers Holmes. they have: Fred Warner, Drake Greenlaw, like them. They alone. have okay. They had them in the Super Bowl a few years ago too. They'd still yeah, be but now they're more experienced and they're better than now. I don't they care. Were they were so good then. They aren't they're as still good talking now. about them. And they got Traverius right. Ward. But they haven't faced anyone that runs as hard as Pacheco, though. Pacheco's kind of like... <laughs> they haven't faced them. the best running back in the league yet. I don't want to hear Pacheco. Yeah, Pacheco. No, McCaffrey. McCaffrey. I know. All right. I We're going to end it. I we got to end that. it. We're done. It's over. We're done? The Niners are Super Bowl no. champions. No. Uh, comment down below who you have winning the Super Bowl. As you said, Steve has the Niners. I have the Chiefs. Uh, only one of us can be right. So we'll see who wins, and we'll talk about it next week on the podcast. So stay tuned. Stay safe. We love you. Have a happy Super Bowl weekend. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Comment who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. What final score? Super Bowl MVP. I want to see it. We want to see it all in the comments. Yes, we do. For sure. Also, like we said on the podcast, we're going to be active on TikTok. So make sure you're following us there. Instagram will be active on there. We'll be active. 
on the X or the Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Maybe we'll be tweeting out some more things. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe and yeah, man, we're on Spotify. Cool. We're on Apple Podcasts. And yeah, I mean, follow us anywhere you listen to podcasts, man. We're there. We're all we're everywhere. And with that being said, have a great Super Bowl weekend, everyone. And that's been it from us, Benchwire. Out. Oh.